My name is Miss Cullen, and today we're going to be learning 50-50 chance probability. Here's a couple of words that we're going to learn in our vocabulary. The first one is 50-50 chance. It's being equally likely or unlikely. The second word is tree diagram. It shows all the possible outcomes of an event. And the third one is Pascal's triangle. It has many applications in math and statistics, including its ability to help you calculate combinations. Okay, so we're gonna learn a few steps first, and then we're gonna work on an activity. So the first step is we're gonna read the problem. The second one is we're gonna make a tree diagram. And then the third one, we're gonna use our Pascal's triangle. And then the fourth one, we're gonna answer the question. And here is the handout for everyone to look at. Okay, we're gonna do the first three problems together. And then you guys are gonna go on your own and you're gonna work the next three after that. And then you're gonna share. Problem. So the first question says, what is the chance that you will get two heads and one tail when you toss a coin three times? So our second step says to make a tree diagram. So right here, number one, I have heads, heads, heads. because That's one way that you can flip a coin. Another way you can flip a coin is heads, heads, tails. You could do heads, tails, heads. You can do tails, heads, heads. And you can do heads, tails, 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 heads, tails, and tails, tails, heads. And then the last way, of course, is tails, 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 or is a combination that you can get. So with the tree diagram, we are going to look at the question. So it says when you toss a coin three times, so two heads is what we need to find out of the combinations. So we have a heads two heads here, we have two heads here, where it says heads, tails, heads, and then we have tails, heads, heads, so that's another combination. So we do three, and then you count all of the total combinations, which is eight, so you write it like this, three, eight, and that's the answer for the first one. Okay, so our second question is, what is the probability of getting exactly two heads with the toss of four coins, which is our first step, we read the problem. Our second step is make a tree diagram. So here is the problem that we just all work together. And so now we have to look back is what exactly is two heads with a toss of four coins. So we have to look where we see two heads in the combination with four points total. So we have right here, heads, heads, tails, tails. Right here, heads, tails, heads, tails. Heads, tails, tails, heads. Tails, heads, 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 tails. Tails, heads, tails, heads. And tails, heads, heads, heads. So I can count one, two, three, four, five, six. So we'll put six on our top number. And then we count all of them, which is 16 is the total. So again, the probability of getting exactly two heads with a toss of four coins is 6 16 Okay, for our final problem, we need to read the problem. So what is the probability of getting exactly one tail when you toss three coins? So let's come over here. Here is our combinations that we did. Heads, 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 tails, and so on. So we have to look for the row that says one tail when you toss three coins. So I can see this is heads, heads, tails. So this is one. Here's my second. And here's another one. It has one tail in it. So it's going to be three. And then it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So three eighths is going to be my probability of getting exactly one tail when you toss three coins. And that's the tree diagram. Okay, so our third step is to use Pascal's triangle, which I 
love this whole strategy. So we're going to read our first question again. And so we can answer it with our Pascal's triangle. So the first one again says, what is the chance that you will get two heads and one tail when you toss a coin three times? So we go down three. So this first row is actually zero. So this is zero, one, two, three. And then you have to go over two, but this is zero as well. So you've got to go zero, one, two. So this number three is going to be our numerator. So we're going to put the three up top. And then we have to add this row, and that's going to be our denominator. So three plus three is six, plus one is seven, and plus the other one is eight. And that's going to be three eighths is going to be the answer for that. Problem. What is the probability of getting exactly two heads with a toss of four coins? And now we're going to use our Pascal's triangle for our second strategy. So it says four coins and two heads. So we're going to go count. Remember, this is zero, one, two, three, four. And then two heads is, we use this as zero, one, two. So this is going to be our numerator. It's going to be six on top. And then now we have to add all of these numbers, which is going to be our denominator, which is 16. Thank you, James. <laughs> okay, so let's read the last question together. What is the probability of getting exactly one tail when you toss three coins? So this is our zero row. One, two, three. And then you go over one. And this is, again, this is zero. 1. So 3 is going to be our numerator. You add the sum. So 3 plus 3 is 6, 7, 8. 3 eighths. That are volunteers that I chose. So you guys can come up to the board and show me how you got your answers. We're going to need 6 people. So 3 for the tree diagram and then 3 for Pascal's triangle. And then for our homework today, we're going to do problems 1 through 8 on page 116. And you guys are going to do both strategies that we've learned. And in conclusion, today we've learned the, uh, our 50-50 chance probability. And you can see that we used both strategies and we came up with the same answer. So sh you shouldn't be getting two different answers. And for our next lesson, we will learn about the probability of rolling a 7.